The following interview was recorded live at Bloodstock 2022. And guess what? They already announced the first batch of 2023 bands featuring headliners Killswitch Engage and Megadeth. Also playing Devil Driver, Fit for an Autopsy, Knocked Loose, Decapitated, Gate Creeper, and more. Go to bloodstock.uk.com and get your tickets now. Two new sensor on W four C Y three. Wake up, America! It's time for the adventures of Hype Man on W four C Y dot com, West Palm Beach's number one internet radio station. Here's your host, the Pipe Man. This is the Pipe Man here on the Adventures of Pipe Man W4CY Radio, and I'm here with Gavin from Damnation Festival. How are you? I'm pretty damn good, Pipe Man. How are you? Oh, I'm doing amazing. I got to say right off the bat, I love the name of your festival. It's good, eh? It's I, good. It's a really good name. <laughs> like if you get, And I, I'm looking at your shirt. Yep. I love that you got the Grim Reaper on there, and he's got his thumbs up. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm to explain this shot to people who can't see it is there's a band called Party Cannon who played yesterday and they played last year's Damnation. They've got a bit of a funky logo, so we took it. It was a wee bit of a play on the whole because usually it's black and it's grim and it's fucking satanic. And uh, last year we had a wee bit of a wee bit of fun and a Grim Reaper holding the sign for Mank Manchester is basically us leaving Leeds and going back to Manchester where we started in 2005. Nice, I love it. So tell us a little bit about your festival. So it's as I say, it's been it's we've been around since two thousand and five. This year we're doing we're doing the big move to an arena in Manchester. We've got Ministry, Converge, My Dying Bride at the gates. In fact, we've got a big uh, American contingent. We've got Pig Destroyer, Decapitated, Despised Icon, Elder, Paul Bearer. It's a lot of American bands over for uh, for this year. After two years, I've not been able to book yeah. anyone outside fucking England. So, uh, moving to Arena, if we sell the 6,000 tickets, which looks like we might, we'll be the biggest indoor metal festival in Europe. And no one's festival I can actually think indoors is bigger is your very own Psycho Las Vegas. Yeah, oh, I love Psycho Las Vegas. Have you been to it? No, it clashes with a festival in the UK called Dark Tangent in Bristol, which I'm a very big fan of. So, I've been there for the last seven years, but one year, I, I see the pictures of Psycho Las Vegas and I'm like, that looks fucking spectacular. Oh yeah. <laughs> I went right before the pandemic to do radio coverage and one main reason I looked at it besides how great the festival was is the original Misfits were playing. Yes, yes. That was badass. Yes, yes. I, I'm quite friendly with the, the organizer, that's Vicky Hungerford and they tried to book the Misfits and I heard the fee that was involved and it was, hey, 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 that's why I'm not playing Bloodstock. <laughs> <laughs> So, tell us about, you know, how people can check out the festival, you know, when it is, how they can book their tickets, all that good stuff. Okay, so it's uh, damnationfestival.co.uk. It's, uh, we're on all your usual social media platforms. And as I said, there's, we've sold 4,000, a crawling towards 4,000 tickets at the moment. So... If we go to the 6,000, which we might, there's a couple of thousand tickets left, which I'm expecting to sell out because we tend to do the vast majority of our sales in the final weeks. So if you want a ticket after Bloodstock's finished, get yourselves get yourselves along to the, that website address and get them booked. Nice. Uh, and so since there's a lot of festivals in the world, what would be some key things you would want to tell people that makes yours unique? Well, the, the, there's a difference in Damnation in the sense that there's not a lot of one-day festivals at the scale of Damnation. I mean, you get a lot of one-dayers, I've got a big band and a lot of local supports. I mean, our main stage, as I said, is Ministry, Converge, At The Gates, My Dying Bride, Destruction, and then the other two stages after that, I've got a bunch of it. So it's a lot crammed into 12 hours. We have a fan base who have a mortgage and three kids and a job to get back to on Monday. And they don't necessarily want to go and put up a tent and camp for three days at a festival in the sun and leave the comfort zone. They want a 12-hour blowout. 
and I think you experience that at Damnation. There's a lot of lot of energy for 12 hours. Good energy, like friend, like friendly energy, but at the same time, it's exciting. The lineup's great. It's if people want to come and know that their hangover day is Sunday, and then they get back to their real life with their mortgage and their kids and their job on the Monday, and that's what makes Damnation slightly different from your yeah, downloads or bloodstocks or any of these three day three day outdoor events. Yeah, you know, it's interesting while you're saying that, I was thinking about it. So my daughter will sometimes go to some of the festivals and halfway through the first day, she's like, Dad, I don't know how you do this every weekend. I'm done already. And to your point, like people have to get to work on Monday. I mean, this is my job, you know, but people got to get to work on Monday. So if they're going to a festival, they need a day to recover if it's a one day festival if it's a three day festival they need probably like a week to two weeks <laughs> absolutely listen i've seen people come back for damnation and don't recover to the wednesday you know so right it's a but there's something good about the fact that that's what there's a certain fan base that want that that we we in our 10th anniversary i I floated the idea of two days, and I've tell you, I've never seen such a negative reaction. Really? <laughs> it's like, no, don't do that. Don't. The reason we enjoy Damnation is because it is that one day burst and the, the recovery day, and then getting yourself back in. It's, we don't want to think about getting up on a Sunday and trying to do it again. Well, 42, and we don't want it. <laughs> well, you know what else too is when you even I do it working it. When you have a multi-day festival, you kind of pace yourself. Yes. Okay? Whereas if it's one day, you could just go all balls out. <laughs> Although, I have to say, there's some fans that damn should go balls out too quickly, and are sleeping on the main stage floor at 6 o'clock <laughs> and missing bolt for all who they came to see. <laughs> I always wonder about that when I'm out there and, like, Slipknot's playing and people are crashed out. It's like, how are you sleeping through a band like Slipknot? <laughs> You know, it like blows my mind. Sometimes I went to the French festival Hellfest, and I was looking forward. I was to see, just there. I was looking forward to seeing Terror. Uh, this was years back, and I slept through the entire set, man. Just behind the sound desk, too drunk, too much Jägermeister, sleeping. And I'm like, you know what? The alcohol wins. Alcohol always wins. Yeah, it does. And I did see a lot of people at Hellfest passed out, and like passed out in like the tents that had death metal and black metal <laughs> but also it was 50 degrees <laughs> oh my god so, i mean this weekend's warm but hellfest was like different let me tell you hellfest was the first festival ever that i left today it left earlier in the day than i than the end yeah. <laughs> because that freaking heat i was done it was i mean, see the band knock loose me, me and the guy organised damnation with a guy called Paul. We went to see Not Loose. I had the hat on, the glasses, totally covered up, and I had the, the fire hose at the front. He was just sitting there. The best bit of the set was getting soaked in the water because it was so warm. It oh, was yeah. So warm. I saw people, you know, in that like Turkish bath thing, they just sat there all day. <laughs> oh, the backstage bit where they pulled. Uh, yeah, in the VIP area, the guest area. Yes. yes. And, and it, yeah, in that uh, whole area uh, there. Hellfest is, Hellfest is Disneyland for golfs. I mean, it's like such an amazing event. Right. I I was, I do a lot of festivals. And that one, I was, I was like this. Whoa. Well, I, you know, like it's special. It's special. Uh, the difference of when you own the site and you can just build it and build it and becomes like an art installation, as opposed to when people just rent the site for a couple of weeks and have to throw up some barriers. Yeah, exactly. And so. I'm pretty psyched about your festival, though, because I like the one day all balls out. Even working, that would be great. Yep. I'm like, huh, that's an easy day. Nah, well, get yourself along. I hope you can make it. There's, uh, there's plenty going on. For the for the geeks and your listeners, we have a Star Wars bar that's, that's done exactly like the cantina for Star Wars. Wow. And, uh, I think we'll probably use a wee bit of that as a press area. So if you want to geek out with some Star Wars stuff and do your interviews there, it's all good. You know what you got to do with that? I just thought of something. Get Guar to play, and they can hang out in that Star Wars bar. Aye, aye, listen, I don't have the budget to clean up after Guar. No. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so, what do you want to tell the listeners that we haven't touched on already that they need to know about your festival? You know what? I th- I, 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 Damnation's not a, 
it's no trick. There's nothing secretive or right? it's, it does what it says in the tin. It's a it's a one day blow as you described it. Balls out. The lineup is fucking phenomenal. It's a, it's as, for sixty five pound. It's as good as you get. For oh, a, that's cheap too. For, for a for a one day event, you want to put those bands in order and put a gig ticket, and you would talk about four five hundred pound worth of gig tickets at Damnation, and we we try to minimise the clashes, the crowds friendly and inclusive, yet you still get that sense of excitement. It's get that, it's get that Woodstock '99 feel about it. Where MD getting battered, you know, so or any Holden's getting ripped off the sound desk. It's a it, it's a good it's a good, it's a great event. It's something a bit different from your usual either one day or in a pub or your major outdoor festival. So it maybe maybe suits some of those fans that have kind of done this for 20 years and I've I've decided nah I'm done with the metal scene and I'm going to go to a Slipknot show and just a Slipknot show. I mean, damnation somewhere you can go and really enjoy your still and have the the pleasantries of not uh, getting back to your own bed. Yeah, it's true. I love it. I I think people should definitely check you out. How do they connect on social media, on the web? How do they buy tickets? All that good stuff. So, Facebook, Damnation Festival. Instagram, Damnation Festival. Twitter, Damnation Fest. Again, the URL is damnationfestival.co.uk. So, that's how you connect with us. The, all the links are there for the tickets. So, as I say, I'm, I'm pretty confident we're going to sell out this year. I don't, I'd never bank in a sale until I see it in the basket, <laughs> in the Eventbrite basket. But uh, I'm pretty, if, if anything, a historical trend sales or anything to go by, we will sell it again this year, which will be pretty special because, as I say, it's, uh, it will make us the biggest indoor metal festival in Europe, which is quite a feat. All right, well, great. I love that you're doing this. I think everybody should check it out. Let's... Make this happen. Oh, it sounds like an amazing festival. So thanks for doing all the work and thanks for being on the Adventures of Pipe Band. Thank you for your time and take the time to chat to me. My pleasure. Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY Radio.